Hello, and welcome to Ask a Scientist. Today we talk about cat science. Actually, we're going to talk about catnip. And I brought my friend Pico. He doesn't really want to do this video. <laughs> so catnip is really interesting. So it really makes uh, cats go crazy, right? So a little bit. A little more specifically than that, you know, they'll rub their faces on it, and roll around, kind of paw at it, and generally cats are going to be looking like they're having a good time. Um, but I'd like to talk a little bit about what it is, what it does, uh, the plant, what's exactly going on inside that cat's brain uh, when it's smelling those catnip toys or, or the plant itself. So uh, catnip is referring to, in general, the plant. So there's a plant called catnip. Uh, sometimes called cat mint. Uh, it is actually related to the mint family. So uh, as you can see in this image of catnip here, it is, uh, it looks a little bit like mint. Catnip is unique in that it has a particular chemical inside it called uh, nepotalactone. Um, and you can see the structure here of nepotalactone. And if you've ever, uh, like broken the leaf of a fragrant plant, right? So if you've seen lavender or mint, right, you kind of rub it in your hands, kind of tear it, break it, you know, cooking with oregano, cilantro, um, it will tend to uh, release the fragrance. So you kind of smell the essence of the plant. And uh, for catnip, the main component is this nepotalactone. So if you're smelling that catnip smell, you're smelling this molecule. So why why does catnip have this molecule in it that makes cats go wild? Um, best we can understand, kind of understanding the biology and its evolutionary purpose, it doesn't really have anything to do with cats. Uh, the nepotalactone, so this molecule inside catnip that makes the cats go wild, is uh, an insecticide, right? So uh, you could be technically correct in saying that you're giving your cat a uh, cat toy with insecticide on it. Um, but that, that sounds awful, but that's not actually so strange. Um, strawberries we eat, natural, uh, with, if they have no spray on it, they still have insecticide on them because there's some natural components of the plant that act that way. Um, so it sounds like a scary term, but it really shouldn't be, uh, in all cases, a scary term. And so this nepotalactone, this molecule exists in the catnip plant basically to kill aphids. Uh, interestingly enough, it also attracts the predators to aphids. So it exists in this plant uh, primarily just to you know, keep bugs out, to kill bugs if they try and sip the sap of this, of this uh, catnip plant. Uh, it just so happens that by chance, it also makes cats go wild. All right, so we learned a little bit about catnip. So it's this plant that's similar to mint it has a molecule in it called nepilactone, and it acts as an insecticide. Uh, what is it doing to the cat, though? That's, that's the real question. We use this in cat toys and things all the time. So the molecule is actually a cat pheromone, and it ends up you know, being breathed in by the cat. So these molecules kind of vaporize, make it up into the air, make it into the cat's nose. It smells them, and when it does, that molecule will actually, you know, attach to the cat's sort of nasal receptors, and it sends a signal to the brain, and it acts as a cat um, mating pheromone. It's, it's a pheromone for the cat. So, what's interesting is it's actually sort of controlling the cat's behavior. The molecule getting into the cat's nose, the brain responds to that not only with just an odor, like we think of when you smell something uh, like lavender, the example from before. Uh, it actually kind of tells the cat what to do, right? So once that signal hits the brain, then that cat is sort of triggered to, you know, roll around, nuzzle, uh, paw at things, you know, have essentially a good time uh, overall. Um, interestingly enough, uh, you know, it's not addictive to cats. Uh, it doesn't work on every single cat. Um, so somewhere around 70% of cats will respond to it. Um, Bigger animals, uh, tigers, lynxes, will respond to catnip just like smaller smaller animals do as well. Um, but, it's, but like I said, it's not addictive, and it doesn't do much for humans as well. 
So other animals might react similarly to some pheromones, um, but uh, for people it doesn't do a whole lot as far as that goes. For cats, it, it makes a big difference.